I particularly focused in my research on music, what we could call the party scene or the club scene. It's the idea that in these spaces, which are often almost demonised in popular culture and seen as places of mere hedonism. These are in fact the social and creative nexuses where people gather, meet, often for pleasure, but also come up with new ideas and new cultural forms that have gone on to change the world. My research is organised around three quite big books. Uh, Love Saves the Day, History of American Dance Music Culture, Hold On To Your Dreams, Arthur Russell and the Downtown Music Scene, 1973 to 1992, and Life and Death on the New York dance floor 1980 to 83. The pre-disco period of 1970 to 1973, I argue, was the most important and fascinating and progressive period in dance music history and have been completely unwritten about. The most obvious impact has grown out of starting this loft-style party with David Mancuso. The music is very diverse. The dancers will go on a journey that will often last for at least eight hours with uh, a very wide range of music integrated into that particular experience. The idea of these parties was to break down the boundaries and integrate the diverse wonder of all this music that we can dance to. So we started this party in June 2003 and effectively has led to this kind of mushrooming of, of parties that have been inspired by the party we started in London. And it's it's spread throughout you know the United Kingdom but also you know Europe and even beyond Europe in terms of the way that people have kind of wanted to recreate this kind of party setting which is also quite different to a kind of club setting you know create a party which is really about a coming together for you know socially and and to create a sense of joy and hope actually